In this video, we are going to see polar plot of a transfer function with two simple poles. The transfer function for this looks like this. Okay, In time constant form, it will be 1 over 1 plus st1 times 1 plus st2. Okay, And to plot the polar plot for this function, we need to substitute s with j omega. And this function looks like this when we substitute s with j omega. 1 plus j omega t1 times 1 plus j omega t2. <laughs> if you write this in polar form or say magnitude and phase angle form, it looks like this. The magnitude will be 1 over square root of 1 plus omega square t1 square times 1 plus omega square t2 square okay and the phase angle phi we can write this as minus tan inverse of omega t1 minus tan inverse of omega t2 <coughs> if we take omega and the polar plot we take by changing omega from 0 to infinity and the plot this magnitude m on the complex plane with the phase angle specified with it okay if you take omega 0 the magnitude value m will be 1 because this term comes to be 0 and this comes to be 0 1 over square root of 1 times square root of 1 it becomes 1 and the phase angle when we substitute omega with 0 here and here it becomes <coughs> 0 okay and now If you take omega value to be tending to infinity, then the magnitude value becomes zero. Okay, when we substitute infinite value in omega, the magnitude tends to zero. And if you take phi value, tan inverse of infinity, okay, it will be 90 degrees. Fine. So here is a minus sign here. Okay, so minus 90 minus 90, it becomes minus 180 degrees. Okay, now. Uh, let's check where this m omega value, what will be the omega value when phi is minus 90 degrees, okay? Let's see that. Now, if you take phi when omega equals 90 degrees, so I write this phi as phi 90 degrees, we can write this, <coughs> then phi will be equal to minus 90 degrees, okay? This equals minus tan inverse of omega t1. When I say omega here, omega 90, okay, minus tan inverse of omega 90 T2, fine. And now, if you take tan, okay, before that, we can cancel this minus here, okay, so it becomes plus everywhere. And uh, if you take tan at both left hand side and right hand side of this equation, okay, <coughs> then tan 90 here, tan 90 degrees equals, and take this term as A, and this term b okay now it becomes tan of a plus b tan 90 is infinity okay and tan of a plus b you can write tan of a plus b as tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b okay let's write this tan a plus tan b over 1 minus tan a <coughs> tan b now a is tan inverse of omega t tan a will be omega t1 and tan b will be omega t2 okay if you substitute those values okay infinity equals omega t1 plus omega t2 over 1 minus omega square t1 t2 and this omega is omega 90 okay now we know that omega is not infinity because we are taking a value from 0 to infinity in between somewhere okay so omega is not infinity we know that so numerator is not going to be infinity <clears throat> so the denominator should be 0 in order to make this infinity so we take 1 minus omega square t1 t2 equals 0 then we get that is omega 90 equals 1 divided by square root of t1 t2 we take plus sign because we know we are changing omega from 0 to infinity which is in positive okay so we take omega 90 positive 
even though we get two values as plus and minus because we have square there. <coughs> now, if we if you substitute this value there, okay, if you take this omega, it will be one divided by square root of t1 t2. If you substitute this omega, okay, this omega in this magnitude term, and if you see, it comes out to be, okay, let's take this value, one over t1 t2 as this is omega square, okay, t1 square. <clears throat> if it, and if you take this here, it will be t1 t2 times t2 square. <coughs> We can write this as t1 t2 square root of over t1 plus t2. We'll have magnitude as square root of t1 t2 over t1 plus t2. Okay, and intermediate values will be can we can calculate by substitute values. Okay, now if you try plotting these values, okay, all this as omega changed, and what are the values for m? and phi on a complex plane let's see how it looks okay now let's take a complex plane okay real axis this is imaginary axis now when omega equals to 0 the value of the magnitude is 1 and the phase angle is 0 okay let's take this is magnitude 1 on the real axis because the phase angle is 0 so let's mark this for omega equals to 0 now, if we start increasing omega, the magnitude value decreases, okay? But the phase angle changes in between my 0 and minus 180 degrees. It means we are going to have the plot in the fourth coordinate, which is this, and the third coordinate, this. That's all. It's not going to go into the second quadrant. So, when I say this quadrant, I'm assuming this is first quadrant, this is second quadrant, this is third quadrant, and this is fourth quadrant. So when I say 0 and minus 180, because the phase angle is measured positive in anti-clockwise direction and uh, negative in the clockwise direction, okay? Then if we take a value at omega equals, my, omega equals 1 by square root of t1, t2, which we have seen, the magnitude value will be somewhere here okay and uh, let's take this value okay we got this value which is a uh, root t1 t2 over t1 plus t2 now at omega equals 180 degrees it is zero so we mark a point here okay we mark a point here now if we take intermediate values we may get values here okay here something like this and it starts going this way towards 180 if you connect these dots and look at the plot it looks like this okay now this point is when omega equals or tends to infinity and this point is when omega equals 1 over square root of t1 t2 okay and the arrow marks we should specify as we go from omega when we substitute omega from 0 to infinity. This is how the plot looks for a transfer function which has two simple poles. Okay. Taking the summary of it and if we redraw this, okay. When omega equals 0, we know its value is 1, the magnitude is 1. Okay. This is when omega equals 0. And if we plot this, okay, this plot looks Oops. something like this okay. continuous okay and the arrow marks we have to specify is in this direction and this point is for omega tends to infinity and this point is for omega equals 1 over square root of t1 t2 and the magnitude of this one okay at this point will be square root of t1 t2 over t1 plus t2 okay this is how the plot looks for a transfer function which is like this 1 over st1 times 1 plus st2 okay <coughs>